Toya Smart Life is one of my favorite smart home platforms because it works with She That Should Not Be Named, Google Home, and Home Assistant. <laughs> Assistance! Aside from having super easy to program scene functionality so that you can trigger Toya Smart Life devices, it also works directly with Amazon's routines too, so that you can do things like this. The bloody door is open. <laughs> and this. There's a wanker in the dining room. Get down there and stove his head in. So when a UK smart home company decided to make an absolute metric butt-ton of smart home devices specifically for the Toyo Smart Life platform, I got a little bit excited. Even their name fills me with joy. Oh hey. Hey. Oh hey. Oh hey. Oh hey. Oh hey. Oh hey. Oh hey. That's three jokes is reused now in the last 30 seconds. Poor of it. Thanks to Hey for sponsoring today's video and for sending me some absolutely mind-blowing products. Nine months ago, they sent me their Hey Video doorbell and I was completely blown away. But today, these three products are gonna knock your socks off. What am I talking about? I'm, Listen, I'm sorry, Mr. I'm, I'm, I'm no. I I'm sorry. I just it slipped. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You apart, you I reviewed an LED panel kit from a company called Yeelight just before Christmas, and there was a chap in the comments section that said, "Can you not just put Toya Smart Life on it? Can you not just put Toya? Of course you can't just put Toya Smart Life on it." You can't just slap any old firmware on a device that you fancy. That's not how this works. You yes, that's exactly what's happened. I've got egg on my face. <laughs> He's gonna bring an egg on now. Some egg is gonna come on and pretend to be all upset at the turn of phrase that he has got egg on his face. I hate Paul Hibbert. What? That's... What kind of character would Mr. Eggy even be? What are you talking about? <laughs> what? The only complaint I got from you guys about the Yeelight panels were that they shipped from the US and they're a little bit on the pricey side. These panels are almost identical in every single way, but they ship from the UK and with a discounted rate, they're a little bit cheaper. And because they're Toya Smart Life enabled, not only will they work with Google and Amazon routines, they'll also work with any of your existing Toya Smart Life based Wi-Fi gear. These panels will actually rival NanoLeaf for both brightness and saturation of color, but at their discounted rate will cost you substantially less money. The Toya Smart Life app offers 12 individual scenes, and these scenes will give you a different animation for each scene across the panels. These are different animations from the ones I experienced with the Yeelight panel strip because we're talking about different firmware, and I find that the Toya Smart Life version tends to stick more to pastel colors. My personal favorite is scene one, which is this kind of chasing animation where it kind of goes from left to right, and it's really pretty, and it alone would be enough for me to consider purchasing this product. But I should point out that there is no customization across those scenes. You can't alter the speed at which the animation happens, nor can you alter the colors that make up that scene. If this changes due to a software or firmware update at any point, I will update the video description, so check there if that's something that worries you. Aside from the animations, you can also of course set solid colors and choose things like brightness and turn the LED panels on and off using both the app and of course using your voice through She That Should Not Be Named or Google Home. And just like the Yeelight panels, they also have disco mode. Disco. Which works like this. Check out the links in the description if you're interested in buying these panels. There is a promo code listed there as well, which will give you 20% off the listed price, meaning that you will only pay £140 for nine panels. 
Smart power strips are everywhere these days, but this is the first one that I've seen that's got six USB ports on it, and it's also, at its discounted rate, the cheapest on the market. The packaging has big bold lettering that exclaims, Hey, I'm a power strip! Which is kind of a coincidence, because that's exactly what I yell at Nisha every time I want to proposition her for sex. Oh hey girl, I'm a power strip! Doesn't work. Hasn't got me laid yet. Each socket is individually addressable in the Smart Life app, and the USB ports can be turned on and off too, independently of those sockets. There's a nice red glow on anything that is turned on to let you know that it is turned on, but it's not overpowering so that it will keep you awake if it's on in your bedroom. These sockets are perfect for turning off AV equipment at the end of a day, or for turning on and off non-smart light bulbs via their power supply, or for shutting off hair straighteners after you've left the house if you've forgotten and accidentally left them on. Ladies. Right. I'm addressing the one and a half percent of my audience that is female. It's a right sausage fest in here. If you're a lady, please subscribe. Don't know why I even bother going to the gym. Working. <laughs> the only thing they could really improve with these power strips would be to have a few more actual sockets, because they've only got three, and if each individual USB port was individually addressable. You can either switch that entire bank on or switch that entire bank off. They've kind of Dumbledored it. And if you don't know what Dumbledoring is, it's where basically you give someone something that seems to be absolutely perfect and then snatch it away at the last minute. Slytherin have won the house cup. Please change the banners. Excellent. Now that everybody in Slytherin is suitably elated, I've decided to take into account that Harry Potter killed a massive snake. And I'm now awarding a bunch of points to them and declaring Gryffindor the winners instead. I'm sure this won't cause any hurt feelings or bitter rivalries amongst the eight-year-olds I've just deliberately disappointed. Sorry, Malfoy. You little shit. When someone gives you something perfect and then snatches it away, you've been Dumbledored. But I'm nitpicking because this is as perfect as it's ever gonna get at this ridiculously low price tag. When you go to my description, use that link and the discount code, you'll get this cheaper than you'll find it anywhere else. Oh no, DIY. This is a wired system and it needs to be because that light is so bright, it could vaporize human beings. I, I'm not joking. I got the Troll Slayer out. I used my luminometer to do a brightness comparison test between this, the Hay Floodlight Cam, and my previous reigning champion for brightness, the Eufy Solo Cam S40. The Hay Floodlight Cam is five times brighter than the Eufy Solo Cam S40. And the Eufy Solo Cam had the brightest floodlight on it I had tried to date. Not anymore, this thing will melt your face off. I haven't spent loads of time with this camera yet, but what I can tell you is it has a very loud siren. It has the brightest floodlight known to man and at 1080p, it's not actually the worst picture I have ever seen. I wouldn't personally rely on it for face recognition of burglars, but the camera for me is just a nice added bonus to what is essentially a smart home alarm system and an outdoor motion sensor that I can use to trigger other smart home gear. The motion sensor on the camera could actually be used to trigger other Toyo Smart Life based bulbs. Hey, actually sell some. I have some Smart Life based bulbs in my outdoor lamp posts, and I could use the camera to turn them on. That would freak the burglar right out. The only thing that Dumbledore's this a little bit. See, I'm using that now. You will be too soon. 
The only thing that Dumbledore's this a little bit is that I can't actually use the motion sensor on the camera to trigger she that should not be named routines because she doesn't detect it. That's a bit of a shame, but it's kind of nitpicking again because you buy some nice easy toy of smart life light bulbs, problem solved anyway. Aside from that, the camera is very responsive and comes with all the bells and whistles you would expect from a smart home camera. It's got two-way talk. Hello, burglar. This is Paul. Hello, burglar. It's got night vision and it's got IP65 waterproofing. If you're interested in buying one of these cameras, again, links are in the description as is the discount code. They have some absolutely awesome stuff on their website including a contact sensor that is entirely Wi-Fi based, doesn't require a hub. That thing with its discount is only £11, and that is the cheapest Wi-Fi contact sensor you will find on the market. They've got a really cool lamp, smart sockets, a video doorbell, and a ton of lighting options. If you're looking to make your home smart and you've got a decent Wi-Fi router, then this is one of the cheapest ways to do it. And because it's Toyo Smart Life, it's super reliable, and it all works with She That Should Not Be Named and Google Home too. As I've said over and over again, there are links in the description and discount codes too. Go and check them out. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video, and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people here I bang on about constantly. They're my favorite people in the universe because they help support this channel and make these videos possible. If it wasn't for them, there would be no videos. They are my patrons from Patreon, and if you want to be one, you can do that at either Patreon or you could buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams, and in fact, my TikToks too. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. I'm sorry, mister, I, I, I know you don't like that. I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Damn, that's not good acting. That's bad acting, Paul. <laughs> Try again. Yeah, just put Toy Smart Life on it. Just put a Toy Smart Life on it. <laughs> I will rip you apart, you little- <laughs> How could there be a character called Mr. Eggy? It's absolutely pathetic. <laughs>